Whoa, look at the size of that fish. <laughs> How big it is. <laughs> Dude, be quiet. The fish can hear you. Fish don't have ears. So the question is, do fish have ears? Hey everyone, my name is Randy. You're watching Gold Midwest Fishing. Today we're going to test out what do fish hear under the ice. So to answer the question, yes, fish do have ears. They just don't stick out on the outside like ours. Their ears are in the inside of their head. And since sound waves travel much faster through water, they can hear just fine. That's right. I'm listening to everything you say. In addition to having ears, they also have a lateral line, which detects vibrations in the water. So I think it's pretty safe to say that the fish know everything you're up to on top of the water. So I'm out here fishing in Otter Lake. It's a little slow, so we're going to do a little experiment here. I got the GoPro underwater with the microphone so it can hear what's going on. And I'm going to make some sounds up here to see what it actually sounds like on the uh, GoPro microphone. So let's start out simple. I have a robotic lure on and I got a little uh, rattle jig on. And the GoPro is probably three feet from the rattle jig and about six feet from the uh, robotic lure. So we're just gonna stop and listen, to hear the sounds that the GoPro picks up from these two baits. All right, this is what it sounds like underwater when you drill a hole. All right, the GoPro is about six feet under the, the ice here, so I'm gonna get up and just walk around, see if I can't hear myself shuffling around inside the shack. Hold on, somebody's calling me. All right, now I'm gonna go start up the four wheel that's right beside the shack, and I'm gonna just drive away from the shack and then turn around and come back and see if we can hear it go all the way out and back on the underwater. What do you think? Was that pretty loud? I won't be able to hear it till I get home and just listen to the GoPro underwater, but I'm pretty sure you should be able to hear me going all the way out and back because uh, sound travels really well underwater. So I think we've determined that the fish definitely can hear everything you're doing on top of the ice. Question is, does it bother them or does it scare them? Now here's the interesting part. I've been out here for nine to about four hours. I've seen two fish. I saw a bass and it looked like a bullhead, I think. Nothing. So I just went out, made all this racket, because I haven't seen anything for like the last hour or two. Went out, made all this racket for this video, came back in. 
I jiggled my uh, lure like twice and this northern comes up and just whacks it. So <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe all the noise drew in the fish. So does it scare them? I don't know. I don't. I think it. Uh, in some cases it might, but in others it may attract them. Hey, if you're new here, I want to say thanks for watching. We're all about fishing and camping throughout the Midwest United States. If you've been here before, I really appreciate your support. If you want to help this channel grow, please hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. So this year's ice fishing season is almost over and I collected over 50 hours of underwater video. So this video is all about the sounds you hear under the ice and how it affects fish. I learned a lot more about fish behavior. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, let's continue on with a few more really cool examples from some other lakes I fished. In this example, we have three northern pike and you can clearly hear the noise from my robotic lure. You can hear the voices from us up above and our feet shuffling on the ice. It appears the northern pike could care less about the sounds we are making. Now, watch this northern pike have no reaction as a vehicle drives across the ice. And once again, the robotic lure goes untouched. This is the sound of a full-size truck driving across the ice. You can tell it's quite loud. And it's hard to see, but there is a bass in the background there. I'll point it out, but he seems to be unaffected by the noise. Okay, we're on another lake now. Here's an example of a truck driving across, but about four to five hundred yards away. Here's one of my favorite underwater scenes this year. Listen as a uh, neighboring fisherman drills several holes in the ice and notice how the fish don't even react. You gotta love the bluegills, always curious what's going on. What sounds like rain here is actually snow being blown across the top of the ice due to high winds. In this example, you'll see two bass being scared off from my footsteps on top of the ice. And yes, that is a hot dog hanging in the background. All 
All right, we'll end with this really cool shot of a bluegill and a muskie in the same frame. All right, did you catch that? The bluegill got scared by a slight knocking sound in the shack. Here's a quick replay. Now listen as you can actually hear the bluegill eating the bait. So after watching all this video, here's what I took away from it. First of all, noise that is in direct contact with the ice makes the most noise under the ice. For example, if you're sitting in your shack and you're talking really loud, maybe playing music, whatever, you can kind of hear it as a low muffled sound under the ice. But as soon as you start shuffling your feet on top of the ice, that's what they really can hear. Another good example is the four-wheeler. Uh, you heard me revving up the engine and you could hear it quietly under the ice, but as soon as those tires started rolling, that's what you could really hear. And you could hear it as I drove off 100 yards away from the, the shack, you could still hear the tires on the ice. So are fish scared off by all these sounds? Well, from what I observed is that fish are very curious and a lot of them actually come up to you when they hear these sounds because they want to see what's going on. Initially, it may scare some of them off, but they usually end up coming back around because they want to see, hey, what is making that noise? And the other thing is, since sound travels so well uh, through water and anything that touches the top of the ice, that these fish are bombarded by sounds all day long, and I think it becomes a part of their natural environment, and they just completely ignore it. With that said, I think the lake you're on also matters. If you're on a very quiet lake with no noises, and you come on there and start making a lot of racket, you could be scaring some of the fish away. But on other lakes I fish where there's just hundreds of cars out there, people drilling holes all over, the fish don't care at all because they're hearing it all day long. Now in the summertime, the same kind of thing kind of applies if you're in your boat. Any noises that you touch against the bottom of your boat, I think transfer through the water much better than you just like talking through the air. So just be careful of uh, banging stuff around, throwing stuff on the bottom of the boat, that kind of thing. It can initially scare the fish off. So I think this would be a fun experiment to also do in the summertime. When I'm in the boat, I can put a camera overboard and just kind of make noises in the boat and see if that scares the fish also. So if you'd like to see that, also let me know. All right, everyone, I hope you found this interesting and maybe even learned a little bit something. Like I said before, if you want to see more of my underwater footage and some of the things I learned about fish behavior, please let me know. Until next time, see you there.